school for sergeants. Toastmaster Sergeant at Arms Pat Griffin reporting for duty, sir. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and honored guests, welcome to our school for sergeants. You are here today to learn the art of Toastmaster discipline. Wipe that disgusting grin off your face. What's your name, recruit? I can't hear you. Hit the deck and give me 50 push-ups. How about two table topics? Ladies and gentlemen, some of you will not make it through non-commissioned officer training. To be a Toastmaster Sergeant at Arms, you must pass muster. To be a Toastmaster Sergeant at Arms, you will read the Sergeant at Arms manual. You will read it, memorize it, befriend it, sleep with it. The manual is your best friend. It will save your life and possibly teach you to spell Sergeant at Arms. To be a Toastmaster Sergeant at Arms, you will obtain admission to the meeting place, procure the key, and secure the gear in the rear of your vehicle. Now let's synchronize our watches. It is now 19, 15, and 68 seconds. At the meeting day, Reveille will be at exactly zero dark hundred. You will proceed to the rendezvous with an advanced reconnaissance unit. You will not set up the tables. The troops set up the tables while you yell cadence. They work, you yell. What, two, three, R, what, two, three, R. To be a master sergeant at arms, you will communicate with the speakers as to their equipment needs. And you will search out and destroy any cellular phone that activates during your meeting. But never forget, the chief duty of a sergeant at arms is to keep the peace. The mission of a master sergeant at arms is to maintain order. Should a ruckus occur on your watch, you will apply the rules of engagement. Lock and load. Don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Fire at will. Fire only if fired upon. Alas, there are no rules of engagement. I read the manual. You're on your own. Oh my goodness. You're on your own. However, if your meeting takes place in a public building, in a church, in the back of a bank, you will use these arms to restore order. Once order has been restored, you will smile and greet each visitor because your greeting represents all the heroes of Toastmasters past. Heroes like Sergeant York, who in World War I single-handedly rounded up 132 Germans for his Toastmasters Club. There was international and a captive audience. Then there was Sergeant Preston of the Mounties, who always got his man. That was before women were included. There was Sergeant Bilko, Sergeant Bilko came up with surefire ways to make money for his club treasury. Sergeant Friday. Sergeant Friday invented the facts, just the facts, ma'am, for the City of Los Angeles Toastmasters Club. Sergeant Shriver. Now there's a fellow who knew how to keep the Peace Corps. And he got along with his son-in-law, too. And my personal favorite, Sergeant R. Lee Ermey of Mail Call on the History Channel. Now, if these stories of the heroes of Toastmasters past swell your heart with pride and bring tears to your eyes, then maybe you do have the right stuff to be a Toastmaster Sergeant at Arms. Hoorah! 
Semper Fi. Carry on.